day three of hospitalization. Now we are cleaning up this bigger terrapin. Okay, ready? Take up. There, we take it up from the cage, from the from the aquarium tank. Okay, so we start now. Okay. First, first is to claw hexidine disinfectant to clear all the debris. Okay, normally should divide into four, so this one here. Yeah. Then, okay, start from the top part first, clean. Just the cleaning the wound, yeah. It's quite fast, ah, okay. Clean up the wound with disinfectant. Then take another part and the lower part, yeah, which is actually quite it's quite, quite bad because of bleeding. You can see that the, the, the rod has gone in into the under the skin. That's why there's a pink color on the on the plastic on the lower shell. And it was bleeding three days ago. It's worse than that. Now today it's still pinkish, but not so bad. Not so much bleeding. Now the rector, there's some bleeding as well. Yeah. The greca area there, yeah, there's some bleeding. Just clean it off. Manage to clean. Okay, so finish this one, then there's part two, rinse off. Rinse away the, the claw exceeding. And uh, yeah, brush. Okay. As fast as you can. Fast as fast as you can. Then at the same time the, the terrapins have been direct sunlight. Normally about 10 minutes to 20 minutes direct sunlight. Uh, brush away, especially the rot, the rotten part. Now this one, in this terrapin, the rod is actually here and here. All these are the the breakdown of the shell. You can see, see here. This one is bleeding. It's bleeding everywhere. Eh? There, there's a dent here. There's a dent. This one is uh, worse than the other fellow, probably because it climbs over the small one. Okay, so now we. We have the tissue to dry up first. Pet, petting are dry up. Dry very dry. Before you apply the cream. There's this video will show to the owner as well. And uh, the owner will do it at home. Okay. And this part, the lower part, yeah. Now this is a very this has been happening for over a year, so you can see the erosion of the of the shell. If the bleeding drop the, up the under the shell, the skin vessels bleed out. Yeah. Okay, this is the one affected. This part there is uh, blood from the inside. So this this could be septicemia due to long long infection. Okay, this finish. Finish and let it dry up first. Put it here to dry first. Wait for a while first. Yeah. To dry up for a while. Probably one or two minutes will do the dry up. Yeah. Then we get ready. Close out everything first. Get ready to apply the cream. Okay. Already. Already. Then we bring it up again. Okay. Bring it up and then the cream already. The cotton bud. Okay. Cotton bud already. So start from the top. Dot 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 dot. So dab 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 dab. Uh, be careful the eyes. Okay. Then continue. Only those parts with the white spot here. Yeah. Only those parts, uh, the dot dot. Just like painting, uh, okay. Put a bit of paint there. Fast one, yeah, okay. Any more? No more. Okay, then after they start painting, uh, just spread it in, uh, spread the antifungal, antibacterial, and anti inflammatory in. Okay, go, 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 go. Uh, quite fast actually, this one. Now this will go in to kill the fungus and the bacteria. And make sure the terrapin doesn't drink it or eat it. Yeah. Otherwise, they, they will be losing appetite. Okay, now finish this side. Go on the other side. Okay, probably an assistant help. Okay, ready? Uh, the whole whole plastoon, the whole thing is affected actually. Yeah. This one we have to do the whole thing, including the the whole shell. Yeah. The whole shell has to be the whole thing has to be given the whole cream, the cream. Yeah. 
then especially this rotten part as well, this part, the rotten part. You just put the whole cream, put more cream and then once ends. We do it about once in three days, we're not doing every day, okay, just apply more cream. Mm, okay, go, go, go. And uh, you can see that this part is also affected. This part here. It's not normal. Uh, okay, we paint it now. Paint it until the cream is inside. Okay, then do not forget the the lower part here, which is rotten here. Then the lower part. This whole thing is rot, rotten from here onwards. Yeah. So apply the dot dot dot. Uh, correct. Apply quite a lot because it, it's nearly a year the owner didn't uh, think it was it was uh, serious or uh, uh, normally due to dirty water causing bacteria bacteria uh, accumulation in the water and then the owner changed water twice a day because the water looks brown brown actually is the bleeding from this uh, this uh, sh lower shell of this big therapin Okay, so it's, it's been given, then we just put it here for dry, drying. So about 10 minutes, okay, finish it, and go, go in. So about 10 minutes, direct sunlight. And then we after we have to uh, rinse off the cream. We clear out the cream inside. Okay, all go in, finish it. So direct sunlight, at least 10 minutes to 20 minutes. This one will give them the, the chance to get calcium and vitamin D3 syn synthesis because you need sunlight and of course good quality food. Now the bleeding has stopped in this uh, big therapy in the lower shell. You will see the earlier video. But the uh, only problem is now there is some bleeding from the intestines. As you can see, the cloaca is is uh, stained with reddish blood. It's from inside. Yeah. So the best is never delay treatment of shell rot because shell rot can cause bacteria to go into the skin and tissues, causing bacterial infection of the body system, the blood as in this big terrapin and uh, once bacteria gets in of course the terrapin is not uh, eating much and then the eyes become swollen due to the water and uh, direct sunlight is difficult in Singapore apartments because most of them do not have it uh, they do have indirect sunlight but important is direct sunlight or a large basking area if with a heat lamp and ultraviolet light B. The ultraviolet light will cause calcium and vitamin D3 synthesis leading to healthier shell. April 26, 2016, day 3. Shell rot in two terrapins lasting over a year. Eyes swollen as well. Sibling rivalry, weight loss, aggression in two therapy siblings housed together for the last two years.